talking about the role of pleasure in bringing more ease and really more health into your life. I'm Kate Holt, a business mentor for holistic entrepreneurs who want to make more money and a bigger impact, and a personal mentor for people who want better relationships and a better life. And I can't think of anything more exciting to talk about than the role of pleasure in all of this. You know, when you are in pleasure, there is a chemical produced in your body called nitric oxide. So that's not nitrous oxide, that's laughing gas. This is nitric oxide. And it's produced in your body, but it's also metabolized very quickly out of your body. So in order to have this chemical circulating through your body, you really need to have pleasure frequently. Now, why would you want this chemical in your system? Well, nitric oxide is a very powerful vasodilator, which means that it opens your blood vessels to improve circulation and oxygenation, bringing more nutrients to more of your cells and more of the organs of your body. So it's really actually a very important uh, chemical for keeping you really healthy. What excites me about this is I think it's proof that nature intended us to be beings of pleasure, that there's a chemical that's actually really good for our whole overall health that happens only through pleasure. Now, it is a part of a mechanism in certain drugs, but there is this unbelievably natural process that comes from you being in pleasure. Now, I'm not talking about the pleasure that you might feel when you are intoxicated. This is just the all-natural kind, like laughter and massage and, you know, sensual experiences, sexual experiences that bring pleasure to your body, mind, and spirit. These are the experiences that you want to be having on a regular basis for your health. Your practice today is to choose what will be the thing that you will do each day for the next seven days to give yourself some pleasure. And maybe jot it down as a task in your phone or on a paper calendar and check it off when you give yourself some pleasure. So it could be watching a funny movie, going on a date and enjoying a gourmet meal with your your love or having sex having orgasms letting yourself have full pleasure in your body things that bring your mind pleasure you know it could be spending time with a loved one a grandchild a child a pet these are all things that bring people pleasure and of course there's untold number of things that could bring you pleasure. So you know what yours are. It might be a hobby that you enjoy. So choose something to give yourself pleasure every day for seven days. So it's your seven day pleasure challenge.